all right wonderful people all right great people of Biafra all right freedom fighters lovers of freedom great people all over the world I welcome you all today in the name of Chukwu Kikabiyama Puremi Henine. Onye obu nane ya. Onye ayina kwisi ananye. Onye ayi gadine bere o gobona. Ofushi. Ofushi. Obu kwa ni Chukwu Kikabiyama kwere ni mazin na mde kanu nkwa. Wese ya na biafra gabia. And uh, we, when we heard the voice of Mazin Namdekano, we followed him because we believed him. I am back again today to preach the gospel of redemption and gospel of Biafran restoration project because we have come to stay. I greet you, great people. You are welcome. Endurance, you are welcome. I want people to write their name. If I can be able to call some names before I will proceed. I'm here today to talk about what is going on in that contraption. I'm here today to talk about, this is going to be my preamble, things that I'm going to talk about today. Um, blessing up, you are welcome. Uh, you are welcome as you are joining. Don't be a friend, CJ. You are welcome as you are joining. Don't hesitate to invite your friends. Invite those that are around you. Tell them to come. Because what we are preaching here is the way out to our people. You know, I am the Biafran child in Wachineke. I don't do saga. But I preach in what our people are supposed to hear. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, Katrona line. What Katrona line said about this. The election, the presidential election and assembly election. She said the election is fascinating. I'm also going to talk about today the juju of uh, Azoka and Simon Iberima. I'm also going to talk about those people that are tearing their passports. And I'm going to also show some videos to our people so that you will understand what is happening. I'm not going to take much of your time. It's going to be a quick one. So as you are coming, don't hesitate to invite your friends. Invite those that are around you. You know we talk things that matters. Our leader Mazin Namdekanu is still in DSS dungeon. And uh, I am not going to deviate from that. I'm going to continue preaching the gospel to our people. And um, Mazin Namdekanu also the prisoner of conscience. Mazin Namdekanu have been discharged from the court of appeal, the competent court. But today they are still holding Mazin Namdekanu. And it's something that we are not going to shy away from we always face reality we are telling the world that they should look into mazin namdekano matter katrona line like i said when our leader we are telling us that all these people you see all these high commissioners from america from britain from every part of the world they are all compromised that is why you see they never tell their citizens what is happening or they never report to their government what is going on. And that is why sometimes 
the world, they are blind in what is happening to people of Africa or those people that find themselves in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo. We are going to also talk about the index of Boko Haram, those that they were, I mean, those people that they are part of those that carry the investigation about Boko Haram. Then you will know that these people just want to put fear in us, for us to abandon Biafra, because you are coming to call us terrorists. Who cares? And we are going to also listen to Mazin Namdi Okuchukokan on what he said. We are here to set the record straight. But let me introduce myself to you all, some of you that are here now, or those of you that are also going to watch this broadcast later. I am Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Bia Franchise in Washington, the general. I am from Ihala in Anambra. Prince Biafra, you are welcome. Ihala in Anambra. Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB on that chain of command. Mazin Nam de Okuchukukano is the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Also the director of Radio Biafra and Biafran Television worldwide. Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano is the highest commander and the highest authority in this movement that we are, the Biafran Restoration Project. But on absence of Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano, Mazi Chike Dozim is the one in charge. And everything that he says goes. Any person that he removes, you can never come back. If we expelled you, your own is gone. If we give you indefinitely suspension, your own is gone. You are not going to return again. Believe you me, you are not going to return. And uh, Biafra is our religion. In Radio Biafra is where we are worshipping. And the Shukuoki Kabiyama is our God. Now let me go further. Like I said, let me bring out my preamble so that all of you will see what I'm going to preach today because I have gotten to that level that I don't have to come here and begin to shout on top of my voice. When I speak, I show you. Then you are going to be the witness. And now let us go to our leader, Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano. Let us hear what Mazin Namdi Kano said. Because there is no how we can ever come here without telling the world what Mazin Namdi Kano said about putting our name in the depth or index of the terrorist group. We are not going to run away. And our leader, Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano, have said it time without number. Remember what Mazin Namdi Kano said before. He said, we are not going to pay BBC. We are not going to pay any of them. But when time comes, they are going to mention our name. Did it happen? Yes, it did happen which the BBC International also wrote a letter to me and they did a documentary about Biafran struggle. We did not pay them because of war they go tight and they have to talk about us. Did we pay them? The answer is no. Mazin Namde Kano talk about it. And also in a program of Mazin Namde Kano, he also let us know that if they never call you or begin to think about, you know, putting fear in you to stop agitating by putting your name in terrorist group, you never started. That is when the world will begin to hear about you. They thought that we are coming here. When you say this, we are going to run away. No, we can never do that. We never tackle, we never bomb anything 
American citizens. We never kill any American citizen. We, are, we never kill anybody. We never kill any British citizen. We don't have a problem with the world. Only the problem we have is that we are fighting for survival. We are fighting to have our nation. We are not Isba. We are not Boko Haram. That they are kidnapping every single day. They kidnap Shibok girls. Is it IPOB? The answer is no. They went to Abuja. They, they, they destroyed with a bomb a train. Is it IPOB? The answer is no. It's a terrorist group in northern part of Nigeria. Boko Haram and Isba. They are adopting every single day, threatening people. Remember when they said that uh, the terrorist group is about to take, take over the federal capital. Is it IPOB? The answer is no. And I showed you people before where the international communities are leaving that contraption called Damire Buzo because of the threat of the terrorists. Are we the one that threatening them? The answer is no. So that is the reason why we are not going to listen to them. That is the reason why they can go to Britain and pay them some of huge of amount and begin to write nonsense. We don't care. And believe you me, the world can never support them because we never done anything to the world. We are just fighting for our freedom. We just want to go back to the way, I mean, the way we are before the colonial people came. That is what we are asking for. We never kill anybody. The killing from 1945 up to date, they are only killing our people. Now, after the election, they are still killing our people. In northern part of Nigeria, they are killing our people. We are the sacrificial lamb. And today, they are paying people every single day, like Lailai Mohammed, paying people every day for them to put our name in a terrorist so that we, they will put fear in us. No, we are not going to be afraid of anybody. And I want you people to listen to what Onyendu said about this index of terrorists or whatever they may call it. We never did anything to anybody. Mazin Namdekano in Afaruku Ibeu, 2017. Nigerian terrorists in uniform, they came to Afaruku Ibeu with their battalion, with the fighter jet, with the, I mean, with the armor tankers, they came to Afaru Kibik looking for only one man. In the process of looking for that man to assassinate him, they killed 28 vibrant and health, healthy men. They killed them on blood daylight. The world has seen that too. And they killed a lot of our people. In the process, they are running for their life. We discovered a lot of dead bodies in the bushes and forest because they couldn't make it. But 28 men died the same particular place and the same particular point in Afaruki Beko, in a house of Eze Israel and Lolo, Israel Opukano. We haven't forgot that. Mazen Namdekano escaped by the special grace of Chukun Okikabiyama. He helped him, he escaped. Now they also look for him after the Zuko Nigeria committed that crime against humanity. The world are not listening. They see it, they are blind because they are beneficiary of the resources that they are coming out from our land. And they know that we are the children of Chukwoki Kabiyama that we can stand and we can make Africa grow because that is the problem. One person, one country have to rise before other will follow, join the suit. And that is the reason why they are holding us down. At the same time, we are crying. They are knocking on our head. Tell us not to cry. Now, do you understand what we are talking about? They are beating, you are beating your, 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 your son or your daughter, a kid, and you are telling the kid not to cry. Is it possible? The answer is no. That is why we are crying. We told the election people, come back, let us be in one accord. 
to push this Biafran restoration project to the limit that the world will know that we have tried. Our people said no, it's election. Now, after the voting, our brother Peter Obi did not want the election, but they are killing our people. They are killing our people. And when I'm saying all these things, people don't seem to understand. Some people will think that I'm coming here just to talk. No. We, are, we have come to stay. And on this consistency, we are going to keep on saying what we are saying. We are telling the Nigerian government, the Boko Haram and the terrorist government of that contraption, that they should lease Mazen Namikan for us. Election have come and gone. They have already selected who they want. Now, can somebody tell me the crime of Mazin Namdekano now? Why shouldn't these people release our leader for us? Let us go and take care of this man. Let him just get himself back. Because the reason why they kidnapped our leader from Kenya, renditioned him to that contraption called Daminebu Zoo, is because of the election. And it's because of the help of our politicians. Those that cannot stand on their words. Those that don't have balls and goals to make a decision on their own. Those people that will keep on following Fulanis. Like ABGG So, can somebody tell me the reason why they are holding a mass in Namdekano today? Everything is over. Release the mass in Namdekano so that this man will come and talk to our people in Lagos. Tell them way out. Because he had been saying this from day one. But this time around, maybe he's going to bring a new suggestion. How we can be able to cope. And be able to, you know, overcome all these shenanigans. That the election by our brother Peter Obi is causing to us. Because we told Peter Obi, but he don't want to listen. Today, they are killing our people. You see what I'm saying? And that is the problem that I'm having today. We want them, <coughs> Malami, the Antony General of Federation of Nigeria. The competent court have released on you. We are telling you people to, that is why we are telling you people that Nigeria cannot be, you can never fix Nigeria. Imagine the competent court. Release Mazin Namdekano. Tell them that. The court told them. The, the judge told them. You don't have any right again to put any allegation on this man. You have no right anywhere, any place to put any allegation on this man. Release him. <coughs> but today, they are still holding him. Our people abandoned. Collective, the Igbo people, they abandoned their the Onyechuku Zitere, ha? Kobia Toga Ptahanabo. A Mazin Nam de Kano that vowed, that is why you will know that Mazin Nam de Kano is a leader. Mazin Nam de Kano have his people in his heart. Mazin Nam de Kano said with his mouth, if you can kill me and Biafra will come, then take my life, but make sure you give my people their Biafra. Mazin Namdekano have gone through humiliation, torture because of Biafran restoration project. Because election that will last four years, our people abandon a man they have been calling Messiah, a man they have been following, a man they have been listening to. Because of our brother Peter Obi, they abandon our brother. Mazen Namdekano. At the same time, our leader. I call him brother because all of you don't see him as your, your leader. You see him as your brother. But we see him as our leader. At the same time, our brother. So we are telling the Nigerian government, all of you, the sabos in Biafra land, that don't want to reason and don't want to stand in what you believe, or if you think that you will keep on being slave forever, well, that is left for you. 
But I want you people to know this. But I dike, but I dike, ke ubo dike. Obasi ife me raga chokwa dike. When something happen, you begin to look for Mars in Namdekano. Today now, a lot of people are looking for Mars in Namdekano, isn't it? They are looking for him to come and talk to them, to come and give them way out. But you people abandon him. And you know that the competent court have freed him. You know, you know, you know. Pete Obi, my brother, no. They don't care. So Ludo, my governor in Anambra, and I come across the side here, across the side here. Okwa putrana abogale. Election because of election. So Ludo, abia behane me protest or lali. See, release mass in Namdekan for me. I come be on your bunny brew the story. Now, Gagali, Mbahana Solu don't a cockos where there. People tell me that uh, it's a good move. What is a good move? Solu do did not wrote any letter to the federal government to go there and talk to these people. No, he was on pulpit where he was addressing the people. Just say what you feel like so that people will clap for him, so that people will say Solu do is doing something. No, that is not the way things are supposed to be. You write a letter to them. Tell them you go there one-on-one. -on -one. You speak to them. Not you come where you are making what I don't know. I told them, they say it's a lie. And we are also going to talk about all Jews or Carlo. The men, the, the all Jews or Carlo is the senior boy boy of Fulani at this moment as I'm speaking to you. All Jews or Carlo is looking for, he said that if they vote him as a, what they call it, as a, as a, what they call it, a house uh, senate president or joseph Carlo is running for senate president they are promising give your land to fulani we are going to give you senate president after all joseph Carlo will go and give them you know that all joseph Carlo have given them land before and he's going to give them more at the last they are going to disappoint him also because all of them they know nothing when all joseph Carlo was in prison we fight for him he's our brother but the problem is these people don't reason. Olisametu is in prison. We fought for him. Today, Olisametu na abogali kamburamu. He never wrote anything about Mazin Nambekano. All Jews or Kalo no idea na kwasle na gagali na la chagali nde fulani ike. E we ure sante na dupusia ike. All Jews or Kalo is is another another the the enslavement they are enslaving all Jews or Kalo. Forget you know some people will say, but it's a rich man. All Jews or Kalu was your gown, or go for a paco gay, move for a pacan gay. On what your Jews or Kalu for Yen or Wak or Kamuri Juafo, he may have all the whole money. He may have all the whole money in this earth. But we are talking about good life. Or where Goni, the man, any ego to build our road. He kept for a mother. Or where are on a prison now, when if they told you in this life. If ever somebody come, he just come and tell you, do you know that Ike Kodamado can be in prison and there is no how he can use his money to bring himself out? All of you will say it can never happen. But it's happening today, isn't it? Are they talking about Ike Kodamado again? And I'm telling you people, where Ike Kodamado find himself today is not coming back. The law of the land in Great Britain, forget that you think that they are the, or your problem. When you commit a crime against the law of the land, believe you me, you are going to pay dearly. And the old Jews, Kafia, uh, Ike Kuremado, committed atrocity against the law of the land. And the law of the land is going to supersede. He's going to pay his penalty. It does not matter who he is. It does not matter. If their own parliamentarian people, House of Assembly can go to prison, who is Ike Kuremado not to go to prison? He will think that the whole houses of Ike Kuremado in, in London can save him. The answer is no. But now let me pray the preamble of Onyendu so that we will continue about the terrorist index. Now pay attention. I want IPOB to know tonight that being called a terrorist because you're fighting for your land and your nation is a badge of honor. It means you've arrived. It means the enemy is scared of what you're doing. 
and it means that you're succeeding at whatever thing that you're doing are you following we are following sir if you are in freedom fighting anywhere in the world and the people you're fighting have not come to refer to you as a terrorist then that means you're not doing anything that means you're not threatening the status quo now you understand so we are not afraid we are not afraid now i want to go to katrona line katrona line before we go to terrorist organization in that contraption this is katrona line and i'm going to read out what this woman said i want to leave it for a while so that you people can be able to read it so that i will go there Are you people listening? Now. And after I will read this out, we are going to bring Aisha Yusuf. And as you are watching this Aisha Yusuf response to Katrona lying, because they always lie to their government people. That is why today you see Katrona lying. Believe you me, I don't lie about it. I believe Katrina Lang will have oil well in our land today. She will have an oil well. Obama have oil well in our land. Don't you know about it? That is why he fought for Bugari to be there. They give him oil well. And Katrina Lang is running from coastal region down to hinterland of Biafra, from hinterland, move to coastal region of Biafra land, going to our Safolani land. They wearing their clothes an old dwarf. Katrina Lang is a dwarf. Very imbecile woman. That even though we that are coming from third world country, none of us will marry that idiot. Apart from it in Finland. Oh, so see about the Iberia. Mako de Jebra Batiozu. Trailer truck kobuja. Nemunia ne wokwana kogiri. I've been telling you that me and Simon we are not in the same level. Forget all this nonsense. Forget all a boki, a boki kasai mon baba a boki. Or I go to a blue truck and when I speak up to ona kogeri a kogeri. Now, let me read what Katrina Line said. And if you don't, I want you, if you don't, if you haven't forgotten, I want you to know that they are the slave masters. If you don't know, you know now. I brought out what their MP, UK MP said yesterday. Like I said, because the man is not from, his ancestors is not from there. That is why he'll be able to say what he said. Katrona Lang, you see, they are the real British people. That is why he was concocting stories, fabricating lies, dishing it out to the world, at the same time lying to their own people. Their government is lying to them. When something will happen, Katrina Lang, we said, uh, uh, it's just uh, between uh, her uh, cattle rearers and the farmers. It's nothing. And you know what? They will believe her because she is high commissioner. He, she is the one that reports to them. Idiot, she have left today. The another one that came there, you know, whenever as a commissioner you you come to Nigeria, they will use money to buff you. Before you will finish your one year, two years, you have become a billionaire. And you will keep on lying, they go. Now, let us see what Katrina Line said. Nigeria 2023 election is fascinating. I want you to un underline this word, fascinating. And ask yourself what fascinating about this election that they are killing every single day. Nigerian 2023 election is fascinating. Positive British envoy. The outgoing British High Commissioner in Nigeria, Katrina Lange, described the 2023 presidential and national assembly election as fascinating and offered future assurances for democrat, uh, democratic governance in the country. The election, they are killing people the election, they are still killing our people today. 
This is the high commissioner, the former high commissioner of United Kingdom, Katrina Lang, is British. He's telling you now that is fascinating. Do you now see how they lie to the world? That is why they said that Ojuku is the one that caused the war. Because we don't have media. That is why you see, I am not coming here to gossip. When I have something to tell our people, something like about religion, I'm not coming here to begin to talk about religion as my topic, no. I will just ship something, tell you if you feel like to believe, you believe you. If you feel like not, that is your own cup of tea. I don't care. I am here for Biafran Restoration Project. I am here to preach the gospel of redemption, the gospel of freedom to our people. So that they will understand the mess that we are into. Because you must understand the root of your problem before you begin to solve it. If you don't know, there is no how. Now that is one of our problems, Katrina Lang. is lying to our people. Telling you that 2023 election and National Assembly election as fascinating and offered future assuredness of the democratic uh, governance in the country. Now, let us go to Aisha Yusuf. And, you know, there is something about Aisha Yusuf. I like that woman, but because of this election, they went to double into. That is why you see, I always tell my people, Nigerian people are not sincere. That is the reason why they are finding it difficult always. They are not sincere. If they are sincere, they always stand. I remember when Aisha was saying, uh, Bugari can never do this. Let us divide Nigeria. Let us go into our regions. I thought that she would stand there. Peter will be calm. Obasanjo joined him. They All of them jump around. They seen Obasanjo. You don't know that Obasanjo is a double agent. Obasanjo Jore Lapta will be. All Lapta will be now. And Obasanjo have. On Abugogana Lalora. Obasanjo Lapta will be. And I will show you where. Kafia, our brother, his mumu we never do in Kana or Shale boy. Ebo Gwana and Kangoro. When I go Basan Jonobo, Nianoya Bo, the head of uh, uh, Damage Nigeria, Mami Hona Kuri, or Basan Jana Sanobo Father. Today, where is Shale boy? No, we are to be found. Or Basan Jo have taken four fort. Or Ghana, London, Nia space. On it, you and I, Lalola Neteta. Already made country. Now you understand. The problem about these people, why I'm, why I'm having problem with them is like, if they can come here and stay here like us, it could have better. But then we go back to the zoo, store the whole money, come back here and begin to squander the money. That is my problem. Let them come here and live with like as we are and begin to walk as we are walking here. No, they will not walk. If our passenger came to Europe today, he will never, for one year, he will just stay in South. Osieba, Osieba. We saw Willie Obiano, a born a Bogari Kampura, in America. After stolen our money in Anambra, what happened? He's in America enjoying. Uh, election come, he came back. After campaigning, he ran back. You see that? Is, let us see Aisha. Aisha, you see. Aisha, wait, wait, wait. I know you are. You are. Aisha, wait, wait. Aisha, wait, 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 wait. And then you will see. The fascinating. As you are watching this Aisha, you know, response to Katrina line, I want you to also see in the, the videos they are showing on the ground where some Yoruba's hoodlums have used two by two now opposing the banis because we are sacrificial lamb. As they are as the election is fascinating, the Yorubas hoodlums, the Tinubu's uh, talks, they are there, fascinating two by two, on top of our people's head. They are fascinating two by two, on top of our people's head. Now let us see. Let us see. Respond to Aisha. Uh, more people have been disenfranchised. More people have refused to perform their civic duty. The same thing that you not accept in your own country. You come to our country and you sit down, you're fascinated by an election that is mad with violence because of course it's, it's, it's a horror thing you can watch live happening. Again and again and again we have said this double standard, this two-faced standard, we do not want it. You sit in your prison little countries, you have an election. 
situation where people are free to go out and vote, where nobody is afraid for their life, where nobody is killed when they go out for election, and then you come to our own place, you are setting minimal standards, you're okay with, oh, a few being killed, because those few are not part of your families, those few are not your citizens. We do not need handouts from you. We do not need handouts from, from this nation. You sit down, you constantly want our country to be down, you want our continent to be down, so that you say, oh, we sent them five million pounds for the election. That's payers' money. Now you understand. Like we need five million pounds. Does Nigeria look like it needs five million pounds? We have said to you, stop giving a enabling environment for people who loot our nation dry and take them to your places and infest them there. Now you understand. There must be minimum standard. We're sitting down here, people are being killed because they want to exercise their civic duty. And you come to tell us that we should be proud of an election that is so mad. Are you seeing it? Because it's, it's oh, proud. It's better than 2019. How? How? Thank you, Aisha. How? Well, more people have been killed. It, many. They heard you loud and clear. I hope you're happy now. Thank you. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Aisha. I know. I know. I know. I know that some people in that Nigeria, of course, is because of the environment they find themselves. That is why somebody may come tomorrow. They think that person will be, will be good. Now you understand what I'm saying. Because when I read this article out, you think I'm lying. Now he's telling them that the election, 2023 election, was nothing happened. Everything went well. Just a few people. And we have counted body bags every single day. They are still killing today. But uh, in Britain, those people that brought you this nonsensical democracy, demo, democracy of, uh, demonstration of craziness, they are not doing so in their land. And none of you, as a representative of that contraption, can ever come and tell you that, uh, or they brought you people as a, what they call it, envoy. No, it's only them. You heard what Aisha said. She said, very, very soon now, what they are going to do is that they will say they send you 30 billion audio money audio money say they use it for the casualty in this election and your blue story our people will be clapping british people they have come to rescue us they are killing you nobody is coming to rescue you they are killing you if you don't know now let us go to to what they call it I want you people to see this when I tell you people that Nigeria can never be fixed. You are looking for money. You are looking for money. This thing that I will show you here, you can never believe in your life. You can never believe in your life. Let me come. You can never believe in your life. Let me stop it. You can never believe in your life. What is this? You will say this thing is just a garbage or does being. But believe you me, see all this thing that you are seeing there. It's a grounded money. You know, when they, I don't know, maybe you know all these places, they are selling stationaries in that contraption. When you go to stationary stores, there is some machine that used to grant paper. After you grant the paper, the paper will be pieces by pieces, like small, 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 small. This is a money. Your money, your money. You are crying every single day. You are dying in poverty and hunger. But they are granting your money to tell you, nah, eh. I don't know. Let us see. Yeah, so that you can be able to see it. So that it will not be that I'm lying. You will see it. You will see it, please. Just hold on, my people. Just hold on. Now let us see. I can't now go on an alpha. Okay. Let us see. Let us see. Are we the 
suffer for Nigeria. See, they grind money, then grind money. See, all this one are money, then grind down. See, now money be this. Hey, you know, go. Then grind money, see money. See, see money, then grind money. See, all this one are money. See, Why I cannot see to a wait? Wait, let's go back. Can you see? Now you understand it. They don't want you to survive. They are grinding your money. <laughs> Paper money. Now you understand. Let me go to, let me go to, I have promised my people so long about this autopilot video. Let me show it before we move forward. Azoka and Simon Ehan are going to be so so. Oh yeah, man, Simon Ebe is going to be so so. Pasha Stroke is there. And on where we are just one side. Because Simon Ebe wants to claim that whatever he says that people will say is true. Simon Eba in on the ground. If you people haven't forgotten when Simon Eba we are saying that was saying that uh, I give Nelio Febu after he bring uh, he brought out a uh, ecus of Nelio Febu on Twitter to justify that ecus that he brought out on Twitter. He came out again saying that if if uh, Nelio Febu did not confess within one week that Nelly Ofebu will run mad. But unfortunate, Nelly Ofebu did not run mad. But today, Nelly Ofebu is useless. Because I don't know where Nelly Ofebu is today. Nobody is still hearing from Nelly Ofebu. We don't even know if Nelly Ofebu is fine. But Simon Eba and the, okay, what, is, what her name is? Um, Azoka. Let me show you people who is Azoka. Azoka is doing juju. Azoka did juju to silence Nelly Ofebu to make Nelly Ofebu kiss useless. That is exactly what uh, Azoka did. So that Nelly Ofebu kids will never see good in their life. And they, for them to claim that uh, they are worshipping that evil, they call their own God. Where is this, uh, this woman? Let me see if I still have her picture here. I don't know if I still have that idiot picture here. So that you people will see who I'm talking about. Obo Obo wanyi abo kurot oda afifo janyo mamre anya. I don't have her picture. All of you knows the picture. We are going to listen to that juju man. You remember there is a one juju man that Simon Eba said he is the one that brought out Nelio Febu Bekus. Because Simon Eba was claiming that he is a juju man that brought it out, the juju man that uh, uh, Nelly Febu went to tie them. That is when Simon Eba, we are saying that uh, they tied them. Simon Eba is lying. Nobody ties him. He is the one that wanted to tie somebody. Now he came out and began to claim it, that they want to tie him. Now I want you people to see. The son of that, their juju person, we are going to hear their voice. Waiting as Oka did to Nelly Ofebu. Because Nelly Ofebu boy in our 
I have said it and without number. I don't believe in juju or all this nonsense. And whenever we are saying religion, some people don't get me, the people don't get me right. I'm not saying that because the European brought religion to us. That does not mean that we are not going to stay in Europe, no. But what we are saying is that, yes, they brought this to us. But we can also change the narrative to be able to have our own. Now we have understand. Because, like I said always, if Nigeria is working, do you think that we are going to talk about Biafra? The answer is no. Nobody is going to talk about Biafra. Nobody. We are going to be moving forward. Nobody will be telling you that it's Rugard that amalgamated that contraption. Or for a sure is the one that gave name nigger area. Nobody will talk about it. Because things are moving fine. But when things are not moving fine, now you begin to bring out things for people to be able to, you know, understand what you are telling them. If the Christianity they brought to us in our life today, those religious leaders, if they are practicing what the Europeans are doing, who is going to talk about the religion in Africa? Nobody. Do you see how Muslims are doing in their place? If you touch them, they, won't, they don't care. Their religious leaders is the one they will tell them, my friend, they, let us go. Let us go and destroy them. Let us go and deal with them. Let us go and deal with them. That is why you see today, in northern part of Nigeria, none of them ever condemn Boko Haram. None of them. They can't condemn Boko Haram because it's their militia. If you don't know, I'm telling you today, it's their militia. That is who the, the people they are hoping on. When you tamper them, they bring them. Come and deal with them and they will deal with you. This is it. That is exactly what we are talking about. If the pastors and the priests that we have there be able to tell you, you have to defend yourself. Nobody never tell you to pray to whatever you want to pray. Our leader have said it. You can worship snake. You can worship iron. You can worship whatever you want to worship. But let us have that idea of one accord. When something happens to us, do you know the reason why Asari Dokumbo joined Muslim? He has said it. Because when these people say something, they will do it. They don't believe, say, let us fold our hands, let manna fall from heaven. And I'm saying this here on Biafran television. I know a lot of people won't understand what I'm saying. If that we are Muslims, believe you me, we have resolved Biafra. Because everybody will turn to radical as they were the radical today in that contraption. That is why, do you know the reason why the Fulanis are controlling? Because they have their militia that will come. If you tamper them, Jonathan was there. They, 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 they bring the, 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 all of them out. Come and uh, destroy the Jonathan uh, presidency. They come out, all of them, begin to carry Chibok girls, begin to destroy this, begin to, that is what we are talking about. You don't have to fold your hands and tell God or Chukwu Kikabiyama to come out. No! That is the problem I have with the, those things that our people are talking about. If we can have our way, when things happen, we are going to take it on our own. That is what I'm talking about. Now, let us listen to... I don't want to talk, talk too much, and I don't want to double into all this religion something, because some of you people don't reason. If you reason, you will understand what we are talking about. What am I saying? How can somebody will tell you to come, I will pray for you, and you will begin to, you will be a rich man. How can somebody tell you that your mother is doing you, and you are believing it? We have saw a lot of people that kill their mother, chase their mother away because of what an nonsensical and idiotic pastor or priest told the person about the parent, about the brothers. Wish something like that is not happening in northern part of Nigeria which is something like that, is not happening to Muslim people. They will never tell you your mother is doing you. know. they will not tell you though. But it's only in our place. And Europe, we are, they are not telling us so. Now let us listen to the voice of uh, Ndena Wob. So that you will hear what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. Because I said, I said, I was, I was kind of, kind of, even then I, I, I listened to that one. I said, I said, you are sleeping. 
Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, So that the thing would clear. Yes. And he now contacted me and was telling me that more than six months that they have not gotten anything from Azuka. I said, Are you sure? I thought you and Azuka communicate because Azuka take over. I she took over from them. I said, No, nah, I come out of here. And then she took over from them. So Azuka started contacting them. He started contacting them. She she and them was doing stuff. And I never knew. So maybe because uh, the guy he stopped, I don't know why she. She stopped giving them money because the guy refused to do what Azuka asked them to do. Do you know what Azuka asked them to do? Tell Azuka us. Azuka asked them to make Nelly mad. Azuka asked them to do, to, 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 let me play it. Azuka asked them to make Nelly children useless. Useless. I'm playing it. This woman. What? I, I, I said, I didn't want her to share this thing to you guys. Because when I heard this, I was like, is this? And uh, you know. That is when Simon Eba was telling you people that in two weeks, Nelly will be mad. And I want you people to also understand that this is one Dibia. One Dibia. The Dibia na Roholo, one and woke. Obu kwa the same Dibia, kwa kwa wono no webtra, e kusu Nelly. Obu kwa these people na kanye zirego. Kebuo Nelly, ngwa get on. Oh, can go alone or come wherever. And I'm not going to stop it because I have no time. It's real. Did this really happen? My God. Did this happen? Let me play because this guy did not. He said for more than six, seven months. I thought I did not give them feeding money. I don't know. Let me first play it first. You guys will hear. So this one is the, then I'm, I'm gonna play because this is where the problem started. I took a refuse to send them feeding money. I don't know how, why. Then listen. Last. Get up on your last. 
Azoka na wobu with Simon Eba Canelo Febu the mad Azoka na wobu Kamazen nam de kanagare ma ihe na eme no obo obu ndi ana agwo omere uno na anya ihe abu nwa dibi aho weputra otene ne lo febu Mna kwa na mna na Simon eh ba putra gwa uno that na Nelly Ofebu tied him. Tied many of them. 
you know, all this thing that he was saying is just to cover himself so that tomorrow, Arababa Nelly, Otu Nelly, the useless now, people, because of their superstitions, now they will say that Simon ever said it. This thing now is because of the problem they are having now in their gathering. And this woman now that brought this video out, which is this woman that you, you are seeing here. Our mommy heard the Rafia here. Us no, never give up. The first woman, the woman in Kemen, Asakre, a former Kogene. Because now they sacked the woman, they have gave this woman this voice for years. I mean, for months. She kept the voice. Now, problem have started. They are now beginning to open up. That is why Nelly Ofebuju is useless today. And indeed, Nelly Ofebu is useless. And I'm telling Nelly Ofebu, any day you get yourself, any day you try to get yourself, I want you to deal with Azoka. I want you to deal with her. You see how our people, you see the evil in our people. And some of you people are following them autopilot, autopilot, story. But we are here. They came. We are here now. They have gone. The awkward word. Are you talking about autopilot people today? The answer is no. They are gone. And more is coming. More and more is coming. And now I want you to show you people Charlie Boy. And Ebe uh, Charlie Boy, you go on and we're not Kogeli, Kogeli. Where is Charlie Boy? Umba, Oku Oli Shana Nego, Go Shogu, Simon Agwa Shana Ogu. Ona Agwa Zuru Nego. Are you seeing it? Ono Potana Oje Guru, all these vintage, vintage old shears that Europeans have abandoned. All these vintage, you know, primitive old shears, backward old shears that the great grandfathers of my wife they are using before, because the new generation of Europeans today you can never see such a thing in their house anymore. If they don't use all these things. They use what they call sofa, one shear three in one. It will be together. You can also draw it out to make it as a bed. You can get it one thousand five. 2,000, 3,000, but not all this vintage. But because of the primitive life of African people, that is why you are going to be seeing all these things as something. All these things that you are seeing in Simon Eber house, all these shares, you see that share you see there, they are throwing it out today in dustbins. People are not using that again. But because of this, he used it to deceive our people. And you know, because of African way and the uh, I, I, I don't blame our people too. You know, some of also our governors, our representatives, this is kind of share they are using today. They will go and fight share, make sure they paint it gold to look that they are rich. Europeans are not using that kind of share again. It's no more in fashion in Europe. Where I'm living today is no more in fashion. All these things when you go, we have show, I have showed it before once, once last year, in Rapture Media, you go there, you will see it. When I went to where they are selling old things, you get all this year, 15 euro. The one that is called straight in one, you can get it 30 euro. The full set, you can get it 150 euro. All these things, nobody is using it again. But I know this is exactly what Simon ever used to get our people. By showing all these things, everything is shining as a gold, gold coated. Like this thing that I have here, this, this is a light. You will think that it's a gold. Someone ever can see something like this and buy it and keep it in his house. And you will tell you it's a gold. Or just wrap that glass, common glass, gold, uh, gold, uh, gold coated. Or wrap that one on our people. Or when someone ever know how to make gold, we swear they know near. Do you know what this guy is looking for money? Queen Elizabeth said, "For um, he, he never see such a thing in his house, her, her house." Let me show you uh, these people. It's okay. Our people are gullible. That is the reason why. Nothing else. Our people are gullible. Nothing else. 
That is uh, the reason why our people are, I don't know what they are. I don't know. Let me show you people, Charlie Boy, Ebo Gronana, with Obasanjo. And uh, before I get there, let me show you those people that they are tearing their passport today. They are tearing their passport. See it here. They are tearing their passport. It doesn't even matter whether I am Igbo, Yoruba, or Aousa. The bottom line is I am Nigerian. And that comes first. Nigeria has failed us. We have hoped for a better country. My wife is Yoruba. And I never intended for Peter Obi to be the leader of Nigeria because he is evil. But I wanted him to be the president because of what he has to offer, what he brings to the table for Nigerians. And for that reason, because of what has transpired in this last election, from today I refuse to be associated with anything regarding Nigeria. This is my passport. Number one. Okay, wait. After that, I'm going to say something because some of you will think that I'm... I will let me bring this number one again. Okay, this is another one. You see it? They are different one. Another one. Tiare. Okay, let me bring another one. Let me bring you another one. There are many. They are tearing their passport. Hold on. You people will see. This is another one. This is another one. He's tearing her, his passport. Let me bring another one too. He's tearing his passport. You see it. But now, let me speak about those people that are tearing their passport before I will bring out Charlie Boy. Listen to me. I want you people to understand something. You see these people that are tearing their passport. I don't know what to tell them. But I want you people to understand that these people that are tearing their passport, they are all liars. These people have a dual citizen, like we. They have international passport. They have, I mean to say, this passport they are having now is their dual passport. As a Nigerian, as a person that he, is from Nigeria. This person that you see that they are tearing their passport today, probably they have red passport. Or they have a green passport as American passport. But all these passports they are tearing now, they want us to be here and begin to sympathize with them. And you will see a lot of our people, they are sharing this video, but I'm telling you, you see those people that tear, tear their passport, they are useless. You know, we say things the way it is. They are useless. They are no entity. They have, there is nothing to offer. You know the reason why we have been telling them this from the day one? That Nigeria is not for you. Let us divide this country. Let us cease Nigeria to exist. Let us go back to, to the way we used to be before the colonial people came. Things will be better for you. Competition will start from the neighboring country to neighboring country. Things will begin to work out. They said no, it's one Nigeria. And now, they are not tearing their passport. And they think they are thinking that I will come here and begin to say, right on, you have done well. Come and see people that are chukupuono chani inoko. Because you people are so useless that you can't even understand the common letter. A letter that is written on the wall, bold. You don't see it. Now you are tearing your passport. It's a lie. After you tear your passport, you go back again. You have already they have these people have already copied their passport number don't mind them or they are tearing their old passport indeed really you come you are more like well, the same thing that my finland did 
or he went to go and tear his old passport. And some people are clapping, say that he have tear his passport. I don't have Nigerian passport and all. I don't have to tear it. Because by me, tearing Nigerian passport, it has nothing to, there is nothing I can do. There's nothing you can bring out of this thing. There's nothing. You can't bring nothing. Only what you can offer is for you to push for the bacchanization and cease Nigeria to exist. That is only the, the what you can push. Push it. Tell your people to join hand. Let us bacchanize it. Let everybody go to their place. This is it. But tearing a passport, you're a useless man. He has nothing. Tomorrow, the person will use the passport number and go back to their useless embassy here or where they reside and give them the, the, the old passport number, told them that they lost their passport. Then we issue them new one. You understand what I'm saying? Happened in Elindiri, really. Ma, listen to me. We understand all these things they are doing. These people are useless. Tell them to go and join. Come to join this struggle. Let us stay, stand in one accord and push this struggle. It will benefit us. Not by tearing a, a, just a common paper that you have already taken a, 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 a picture with the passport number. You go there tomorrow, they will give you a new passport. You are telling me. <laughs> Leave these people, my own happen daily, daily. Let me show you uh, Charlie Boy, Ebo Gwanani. Ebe Charlie Boy Gwanani. See our brother here. Now nah, our brother be this. The one that they use as a uh, Bugari. You see it. This is our brother impersonating Bugari. See him. That comedy. The guy now is a fucking rich man. Now look at this, his house. Are you still seeing this guy as a comedian? This is our brother. Are you still seeing him? The answer is no, you will not see him again now. You see his house. The one that is fascinating Bugari. See, see our brother here. They give him a they give him a, a full and new woman. I think by I think they have two kids now or three. Our brother, fascinating Bugari. You see him now. A comedian Gary Juga for Neko Sia Chasin. Nezek one had the old Sharonia. Mosham microwave. Oh, which I'm a microwave that even though the rich people in, con in that contract they don't have it, but they have a microwave. Only I will stand by Lister. Our brother will stand by Lister and Abuja. This is our brother. Okunu Fukosi will be large now. But Chukuga we all come. Chukuga we all come. Neko Okunu Furia. Neko see a busy. He hold a busy now. Boom, bito. Ne, ne, obuze fine boy. Come on, I'll pay for him. Okuna fugo to us, we have fine boy now. Are you seeing it? Our brother. Nezi award, any chari. Banome bona grok quenya the award. Almost the bio is as a back as a diary, as a library, I mean to say. Only one library. Nessos award, but you know no more yonya grenya the award. Tell me, our brother. Because of Ifen Kowa. Because of Ifen Kowa. Obi Obuzinabo, don't. Oko wadi. Oko wadi. E mwe sinandi mwe li kamara anani. Oko wadi. Ka mwe ptaro no. Ke afia. Shale boy. Shale boy no obasonjo. Today there is nowhere to be found. Shale boy and obasonjo. They deceive our brother Peter Obi. Hi. You people. Onu deceive. Obasonjo. Oga adrego na mwa. You know go better for you. By deceiving our brother Peter Obi. Oga adrego na mwa. Because you know what you did. You deceive our brother. And now they are killing our people. Obasanjo cannot even come out and begin to, you know, begin to condemn the killings of Yoruba people. Killings, uh, killings of uh, the Igbo people. Obasanjo cannot, uh, 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 I mean, to, I mean, condemn it. Now, see, I shall boy in Obasanjo and Koziakko. Today, they are nowhere to be found. Let us listen. Somebody is ringing my bell. Let me show this thing. Okay, see him, see him here, see him, see him. President of frustrated youths of this country, 
Namibia, their president. Okay? Me, myself, I get frustrated. Because my you life. Are, you are president and. Uh, of uh, frustrated Nigerians, Nigerians, Nigerians. Yeah, I am their father. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. My question is this: If you were asked, say somebody from street, we no see. Let's go back again. Use of this country, Namibia, their president. Okay. Me myself, I get frustrated. Because my you life, are, you are president and uh, of uh, frustrated Nigerians. Nigerians, huge. Yeah, I am their father. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're right. <laughs> now you see it. Charlie Boy is the leader of frustrated Nigerian youth. Or Basonjo is their father. That is when they were deceiving Peter Obi. Peter Obi, my brother, thinking that these people are with him. Peter Obi thought that these people are with him. They deceived him. Obasanjo deceived Peter Obi. I don't lie. Listen, you see, I know that, you know, there is something our people don't even understand. You see, you are going to court. You are going to court. Yes, you will go to court. Our brother Peter B is going to court. They are talking about how uh, our brother Peter B with Ngige. They were dragging uh, governorship. Later they give it to Obasanjo uh, to give it to Peter B. You are talking about governorship on, in your own state. They are talking about that useless federation. That is what they are telling you. You will go to court. But mu ana agwapu ono. The pa de tuoya. These people are not ready to move away from there. <laughs> Remember that this thing they are doing is Muslim, Muslim. The movement of jihad. Muslim, Muslim means to Muslim people, jihad. Muslim, Muslim means to Shetima, jihad. Jihad is the movement of the Fulanis. Conquest called holy war. Take over your land. Coming with ethnic cleansing. If you stand on their way, of course, <laughs> if you survive, and believe you me, you'll be a cripple person. If you survive it, you must be a cripple. Now you understand it. So this is something that I want you people to understand. And I'm not coming here to tell you Or, I mean to lie to you or for you to be believing what I'm saying. I showed our people all these things so that you can be able to see it. That is exactly when they were deceiving our brother, Peter Obi. Or Basanjo. If we are here. Or Basanjo, Peter Obi. And okay, how about you? What they call it? Obi that. Yes, no, Bola. Bora Bora Osno Bora Rewa Lawa. He said I should stop lying. What what lie I, what, what am I lying to? Can you just tell me why I'm lying? Can you tell me? A useless man. Tell me why I'm lying. Didn't Obasan just deceive our brother Peter Obi? Or do you want to tell me that they are not killing people in Lagos today? The hoodlums are from a uh, uh, are they not killing the Igbo people? Lawa from uh, are you not a Yoruba man? Bora Bora Bola Rewa Bola Rewa Lawal. Tell me the lie I'm lying. Are they are you people not killing the Igbo people today in Lagos? Are you not saying today that Lagos is your own? And who is dragging Lagos with you? After you have sold your land and begin to Gave money to do to or uh, to to was you go there, go there, buy was you go cover the whole street. You are making party carry one street cover after you finish party to 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 eat now. You know, Gary go to drink 
go and sell your, your ancestry land, your land your father gave to you to, to an Igbo man. After you sell it finished, you use the money, the, 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 half of them go and da dash your base. Really. Use the other one, go and dash you, was you. After then, you go begin to drink, Gary. You say, I'm lying. What makes me the lie now? Or don't you see the marginalization of the Igbo people? I thought that you people say that we are one Nigeria. In northern part of Nigeria, they have international airport, isn't it? They have dry port, which is international dry port. In Lagos State, in Yoruba land, they have international, uh, uh, international airport. They have international air, uh, uh, seaport, uh, Papa. In Biafra land, did they have anyone? I thought that you people said that were one. Why can't they divide it the way it's supposed to be? Why can't, why can't you go and talk to your people to tell them? But there is, a, there is a sense in this people what these people are saying. Build this seaport for them. Build the international airport to the, for these people. So that we are going to be equal. You say here, I'm lying. Idiot. I'm lying. What makes this lie? Why am I lying? Can you tell me the reason why I'm lying? A homie as an Igbo man from Anambra, I will travel. I have to land in Lagos before I will travel to Anambra. A home man, Igbo, Igbo man from Anambra State, I send my container. It must land in Lagos or Abuja. Why can't this thing land in Igbo Ocha? Port Harcourt, a so called Port Harcourt. Why can't my goods land in so called Port Harcourt? Which is Igbo Ocha. Why can't my goods land in Calabar? Why can't they drill a, 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 a head bridge on it for them to have a seaport so that when I bring my container it will land there. You come here and say I'm lying. That is the stupidity of black people. You can't even reason and understand the ethics of the life. You don't have it. Because if you know you can't come here and say I'm lying. Don't talk about the deceive Peter Obi. The people that are killing today is it not because of Peter Obi? Because Obasanjo deceived him. And today, Obasanjo is nowhere to be found. Where is your Charlie boy? By now, they're supposed to start revolution. Are they doing any revolution? No, they say they are going to court. The same court, they, they discharge Martin and can they never leave him. Now he wants to go to court. He will stay there. Be, uh, Tinubu will rule four years. Court is still going. The same court that the Bugari and Atiku have, Bugari finishes eight years. Dead Bugari. They are going to court. Idiot. Tell me what is happening. Tell me where the competent court is. Tell me which court we, we, we got. You don't know before somebody begin to do something. Before Tinubu begin to, you know, parade himself, pay off uh, the INEC. You don't know that the Tinubu brother is the one is the chairman of INEC. You don't know before. You don't know that Tinubu have buy every INEC chairman, uh, the whole INEC uh, officials. So you don't know before. Or oh, Tinubu have already buy the whole senior advocate in that contraption. Those people are going to judge the case. So you don't know. Or you think that Tinubu is a just an, uh, is a, is an idiot like you. Tinubu is a criminal. But Tinubu, before he, he does something, he have already risen it. What is going to be outcome? He have already bridged it already. You are coming here. You think that P2B is going to court. They are going to listen to P2B. But the same court, the free mass in Namdeka, nothing happened. They have started reading elections since 1945. Now you say Tinubu, oh, now you will come carry on for head. He think that he, my friend, go, even though you know nothing, uh, you just come here, come they talk, no, you know nothing. If you know, if you know something, you will know. Because of your idiocy, you can't even reason. You can't even read it. You are there, you people are killing the Igbo people, saying that Igbo people are coming to occupy your land. Is it not what you people are saying today? But you are the one that said the land to Igbo man. And you have forgotten that the Lagos is a, a federal capital. Before, former capital. That the allocation that is coming to Lagos, none, no place is coming. In, in Igbo land, in our land, the eastern region of Biafra, the cut-off mark of common entrance is not the same thing in, in, in west. It's not the same thing in, in the north. And you never ask yourself that question. Why? Why the cut-off mark of the Eastern region, of, eastern region of Biafra, eastern region of that contraption called Damine Bububi will be different from the west and different from the north. You don't ask yourself that question. 
but we are one. Uh, no, we, we are one. We are one. We are one. That is the just in you people. And you don't want to reason. You will make accommodation. You will allow them to come. After they have built finish, now you are chasing them away to go. Why are you chasing them away? Is it not Inubu that won the election? Then why are you killing them? Why are you killing them? Lawa, why are you killing them? Bola and Rewa, Bola and Rewa, Lawa, Bola and Rewa, Lawa. Why are you killing them? Is he not Tinubu that won the election? Is he not the one that uh, dead Bugari that was that, that, that they died in 2017? And you have forgotten that the Queen Elizabeth, the second, the one that just died about three or four months ago, wrote a Congress letter to Nigeria. So you don't say it. And that our stupid brother is there impersonating Bugari impersonating Bugari because of the money they are paying him. Today, they kill our people. They lead the election. They won. Election of Nigeria never... The rigging of election did not start today. That is why sometimes I see my brother Peter Obi on our Bugale. I don't agree because election, they have started leading the election. It's not today. It's not today. It started. During Bugari and, um, and Jonathan, they leaked the election. During Atiku and the Bugari, they leaked the election. So it's, it's like that in that contraption. Only what can save all of us for you, Bola and Rewa, Lawa, Nemen Kogiri, you want to echo the Ope, you want to echo Monka, oh, anything. To echo me, dear Monka, the Mole Bessogon, me, dear Monka, the Mole Sofwen. Because Oriye, Oriye, your head is not correct. Because to help Oriye, pe, oh, the man of me, pe, mon, mon, parom, bia, yi. You know, if you tell me all this nonsense, we speak different languages. I have been in Yoruba land. Why, why should I be there? Because <laughs> after you finish your school in eastern region of that contraption called, you can never find work. Now you have to force yourself to come there and work. Because all the government presence are in the west and the north. Have you asked yourself which embassy is in in eastern region of Biafra? You say we are one. Let us forge ahead. Let us live as a one. How many embassies do you have in our place? None. Government houses, none. Zero. Government presence, none. You come here talking all sorts of rubbish. Idiot. And after I finish, I think I will let me find if I can be able to block you from here. Idiot. That is from, is from, um, what do they call it? This thing is from, um, it's from Eco Biafra. Uh, Biafra extension. I don't know. I think, let me find it like this. Let me see if I can block him like this. Yeah, banned him from the live stream, banned him from the stream, banned him from the page. Let me ban him from the page. Confirm. Idiot. I banned him. Idiot. All right, wonderful people. I greet you all for listening to this wonderful program. I thank you all. We are not coming here to lie to you people. We are coming here to tell you people what is going on. Of course, I still want you people to understand that we don't care about Facebook. We are on frequency. We are on frequency. Biafran Television Channel 1. That is where we are. Because if you think that you are going to be waiting for Facebook with all this, they are nonsensical. And the bad attitude they are, they are, they are, they are giving to us, you will know that. <laughs> but we have already made our ground. We have already watered our ground. And we are not going to stop on this Biafran Restoration Project. I salute you, Mazin Nambi Okuchukano, the prisoner of conscience. I salute you, Mwada Ushishi Lolo. The wife of our leader. From me, from here, it is good afternoon. <laughs>